some time it's been a while but we are back with yet another video remember we are your favorite shop decibel audio kenya located right at the junction of alutuli avenue and kamai road when you come over ask for decibel audio kenya or look out for decibel audio kenya our contacts are always on the, the description so we are in yet again with a video uh, today we want to do the ohms we want to teach people exactly what ohms are and how they work and exactly what they do and the effect they can have on your speakers and on your amplifiers so most of the times when you go to purchase an amplifier or when you go to purchase uh, speakers or when you want to connect your speakers from one speaker to the other there are always factors that you might not know or that you might know but today we want to enlighten you exactly what happens when you loop your speakers in parallel exactly what happens or exactly the effect it will have on your amplifier so we start here all the amplifiers the power amplifier these are the power amplifiers show them alex the power amplifiers that's an example of the power amplifiers yes so that one uh, so that is an uh, there's a power amplifier all the power amplifiers have a rating so the rating is normally uh indicating the watts and indicating the ohms so the ohms normally will find something like uh, written as impedance and then you'll have eight ohms two ohms six ohms two ohms or depending with the depending with the ohms that your particular amplifier has so normally when you have the watts most people will focus on the watts because the watts is the power output that can uh, that can be able to serve to serve uh, your speaker. So if it's a 4,000 watts, it means the maximum load for that amplifier is 4,000 watts. That's an example. So it means that if you have speakers that have uh, watts within that range, then you are able to serve, to serve them with that particular amplifier. But then there is an issue of ohms. So this is an issue that most people do not know. So when you are uh, arranging your speaker in a format called the parallel format, there are two uh, formats. There is a series format, there is a parallel format. So we are going to talk about the parallel format. The parallel format is where plus um, goes to plus, minus goes to minus. So that is what we call looping, all right? So you loop your speakers uh, with the use of the speckons uh, similar to these ones. So for example, when you come here, Alex, I'll show them. So what you've done here is called looping. So the first uh, speaker has, has, has a signal coming in right over here. Then this is an output going to the next speaker. Then the output of this speaker again goes to the input of the other speaker. So remember from the, from the signals uh, inside the cable, we have plus signal going to the plus signal or the positive signal going to the positive signal, the negative going to the negative signal. So that is called parallel parallel looping or parallel um, the format of uh, joining speakers together that particular one is called a parallel now all these amplifiers that you see here or any amplifier that you will ever buy the first thing that you should you should always understand is that uh, any particular amplifier has a rating when it comes to watts and ohms so the number of ohms in that in an amplifier is very important because it depends uh it, it determines the number of speakers you can be able to loop together so if you overdo the number of speakers indicator or recommended uh as per your amplifier you might end up harming the transformer of your amplifier so ohms drop when you uh, loop in speaker or when you add more speakers so when you have the first speaker for instance all these top 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 speakers that you are seeing over here the JBLs, the Montarbos, the Martin Audios. All these speakers have an indication of 8 ohms. So what happens when you loop two speakers together, all right? When you loop an 8 ohms into an 8 ohms. So when you're getting a cable, a signal from one amplifier to the other amplifier. And why should you loop loop um, speakers? Nowadays we have amplifiers that have four channels that have manipulated um, the work of ohms. But the common, 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 the normal amplifiers will have only two channels. So the reason why we loop the speakers is because we don't have sufficient outputs from the amplifier. Normally it's just two signals coming out of the amplifier. That's the left and the right. So how do you manipulate the watts or how do you use the maximum load of the amplifier into your many, many speakers? And what is the capacity for every amplifier to load in, um, in accordance to the watts of your amplifier? So... That's why we are saying that if you have an 8 ohm speaker 
So you have an 8 ohm speaker and you want to loop from the same channel mm -hmm. another 8 ohms. Then probably you want to do yet another 8 ohms. So what? how exactly do you calculate the ohms to determine the accurate number of speakers that every amplifier should hold? Sawa sawa. So when you take 8 ohms, you loop into an 8 ohms, you automatically get 4 ohms. How do you derive at, uh, that? Or how do you arrive at 4 ohms? You take the number of ohms, you divide by 2. So you are taking 8 ohms and 8 ohms. Then you divide by 2. So automatically when you are dealing with an 8 ohms, so 8 ohms going to another 8 ohms, you automatically land at 4. Alright? Then when you do the last speaker again, most of these amplifiers will, will serve up to 2 ohms. Alright, so they'll serve, they'll tell you the capacity or the maximum load they can handle is this watts but at a particular ohm and the maximum load they can take uh, load, uh, ohms is basically resistance is the amount of resistance the amplifier can be able to, to hold so normally most of these amplifiers will do 4 but better ones will do 2 majority of them but there are others that can even go minus, minus a particular number but majority of these power amplifiers public address power amplifiers will do up to 0 but most of them will do up to 2 ohms. So what is the number of speakers that you can be able to do on one particular channel? And the answer is normally 3. Comfortably, that even when you load the maximum volume from your amplifiers, you'll still, the amplifier will still be able to do what? To handle the frequencies, alright? So you do 8, you divide by 2, you get 4. 4, you divide by, again by 2, you get 2 ohms. So 8 divided by 2, 4. 4 divided by 2, 2. So the number of recommended speakers on one channel that is um, driving normally at 2 ohms is 3 speakers. So 3 speakers per channel, so that's a maximum of 6 speakers. And that's how you match your speakers with the amplifiers that you have, alright? So if you are going for for for, for mid-range speakers or for, for house speakers, then you know the exact amount of watts you require from an amplifier. So don't go for an extremely so very much a big amplifier and you only to service you are your top speakers that's why we have different wattage uh, in amplifiers we have big amplifiers because again if you are working with sub speakers or the bass speakers they normally have ratings of very big watts but remember the ohms will remain the same even if you get a, a crest audio uh, whatever amplifier that you have uh, running um, running with so many watts normally the watts are, are usually uh, Two yes, uh, ohms. One, All right. Two, one, so let me show two, you exactly one, two, how to connect them. Come two, along. Kaka, one, two. Kaka, kaka. So one more factor to uh, to understand or to to note is that when you when you put more speakers in uh, an amplifier, then you realize more words from the amplifier. The amplifier automatically uh, detects that you have added a speaker and it will auto automatically uh, increase the the number of watts that it was working or operating under. So that's why normally when you you, you you look at the manual of any amplifier it will show you that this amplifier will produce this particular number of watts at this particular number of ohms so when you increase the speakers the ohms will reduce and the watts will increase so that, that is a point to note so without further ado let me show you exactly what you're talking about so this is a powered mixer so this is a powered mixer we are going to be using a powered mixer to demonstrate how and exactly what happens when you when you increase the number of speakers so we have left and we have right outputs okay so this is a fader for the left output this is a fader for the right output so for this uh, particular video we are going to use only the left uh, signal this one so we have taken out a signal from from behind here i'm not sure if you can be able to see let me just show you so this one so these are single this is a single um single si uh, speaker signal output going into our main speaker this is a fast speaker we are using the QSC, so this is the first speaker, it's called a QSC. Then we have the input as uh, the green, the green spec on. Then we have looped a spec on outside to feed the next speaker, which is yellow. So it's feeding uh, the bottom signal input from this next speaker that's uh, RCF. Then we have another output coming from, from the RCF, feeding our last speaker, which is Nexo, with the red spec on. So any of these two plates behind here can be used as inputs. And as output so the wiring of the two is usually um is usually balanced so you can either do output or input from any from any side all right so we are using the current setup that we have right over here because the mixer that, that we have here these are soundcraft kv um 
kvh it's a powered mixer it has an amplifier inside and the amplifier as per the as per the recommendation can do up to up to two ohms all right so we are using only left channel and we are supporting three speakers so we are supporting the three speakers so i don't want to play the music so much because actually uh of uh, so many issues but uh that is now we are operating under two ohms we have eight ohms speaker going into another eight ohms and the third speaker which is still eight ohms so we have eight 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 so we have eight divided by two we get four then four divided by two and then we get um two so the maximum load as per the recommendation of the mixer is exactly three speakers so you can do three speakers on right three speakers on left so a question might come uh, or might uh, pop in or might pop out or someone might ask can you be able to drive four speakers from the same uh, mixer amplifier that uh, supports um, two ohms? And the answer is yes, you can. But you run a danger or you expose yourself to a danger of, of, of harming your, your transformer from the amplifier. From the amplifier of the mixer or the amplifier itself, eh? the transformer might blow out because of the, of the excess, excess volume. So whenever you overdo, when you overdo the signal's volumes, you are likely to harm your amplifier's transformer. But when you are running on normal, below, uh, per, let's say even a minus something dBs, it will probably work, but will still be straining your amplifier. So that's why you say, or you see some people saying they, they are able to drive speaks, speakers on one channel, four speakers uh, on one channel. But remember, whenever you want to off, when you overdo, the volume you are likely to blow your transformer so the recommendation for uh, an amplifier normal amplifier running under two ohms is three speakers if you have a uh, four ohms amplifier the recommendation is two speakers so whenever you're buying an amplifier make sure you you ask or make sure you know the number of ohms that particular amplifier can support so it's not only an issue of watts it's also an issue of ohms so that's it uh, we've ended the, uh, the video here so remember uh, when you loop, you are decreasing the vol the ohms and you are increasing the capacity of the amplifier. All right, so that is it. We end there. Any question, it's uh, welcome. We always uh, look forward to answering your question. Remember, we are your favorite shop, Decibel Audio Kenya. And uh, things, are, things are amazing here. We have crazy and amazing prices, wholesale discounted prices. So whenever you come, uh, feel free. Feel free to ask for that again from Decibel Audio Kenya. So without further ado, it's bye-bye. Cheers. See you in the next video.